celebrating the pets, the people that make the event so special. But in the spirit of the show, mm -hmm. this morning we decided let's highlight our own pets at oh, home. God. Talk about why they're so special to us, why we talk about them mm -hmm. so much. Right. <laughs> Joining us now from the American Kennel Club is Brandy Hunter Munden to talk about what we may not know about our pups at home. Brandy, hey, good morning. Hi, how are you? Good. We talked to her just a quick second ago. She's like, let's have some fun. Yeah. I think so, too. All right, Brandy, <laughs> we're going to start with my baby, Cause, a French bulldog. I can tell you guys about all the quirks. What would you say are the unique quirks about French bulldogs? And here's our my baby. Oh, my goodness, how cute. Well, Frenchies are extremely smart, but they can also be extremely stubborn. Mm -hmm. They are a very fun breed. They love to be where ever you are 100% of the time. They can be the best couch potatoes and snugglers ever, but they do like to explore and get out, out there. So they are a lot of fun. They're a great apartment dog. They're great for small living, but they can also be great for bigger living. They love kids, and oh my God, they're so comical. <laughs> so comical. <laughs> they are hilarious. What are you doing to your dad? He was, he was actually playing hide and seek with <laughs> oh, my dad okay. in that last picture. Um, so <laughs> one of the funny quirks about him too, they snore really loud. They snore. They can, it's yes. a trip. But what makes them so popular as family dogs? I know you mentioned them being good with kids. They're good with kids. They're also good in whatever space you put them in, which is great. They're a highly adaptable dog. So if you live in an apartment, they're going to be good for you. If you live in a house, they're going to be good for you. It all kind of works out when you own a Frenchie. So that's why people really tend to like them. And look at those faces. You can't, so cute. You can't beat that face. I know. All right, let's talk about Laura next. Uh, Let's go to Reddick. Right. Reddick is a miniature dachshund, or as the kids yeah. like to call him, the hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Um, oh. head, head tilt on point always. Um, so always. Reddick is named after a Duke basketball player, JJ Reddick. My husband named Love him. It. Um, so I was introduced to the small dog world, and I was just blown away by how cuddly this little guy is. He loves mm -hmm. to burrow, loves to get in between your legs and just take a snooze. So why do they do this? Like, it's just really unusual, I think, to have such a cuddly dog like this, and he's so little. Well, it's part of their nature. So they used, they normally burrow, like, to get after vermin and things like that. That's actually what they do. So a lot of people will, like, drop a bunch of blankets and let them burrow because that's exactly what they do. They are cuddle monsters. They are a little dog with a lot of energy. They can be very, like, I want to be next to you. I want to be clingy. They can also be very much, like, let me run and be free. Um, they are very playful. Dachshunds are a wonderful breed. They stay in our top 20. People really love this breed, and they you, can, you can't help but see why. I am a dachshund lover personally. I own a terrier, but if my husband would let me add a fourth dog, fourth? we would definitely be having a wow. dog. Yes, um, that would be a lot of food because they are very food motivated too. I found they that. Mm -hmm. uh, Ryan, you just added a little guy yeah. to your home. Yeah. Tell us about him. Seven months old, Prince, uh, my daughter's hoodwink me. There he is. Little Prince with my morning coffee Aww. right there, mini golden doodle. Uh, great addition to our family, but he's quite energetic, likes to yes. nip a little bit, and he has some penchant for stealing my socks <laughs> and taking them all over the house. I find him <laughs> in the couch, under the chair, everywhere. Uh, first of all, why are mini golden doodles such great family pets, and uh, why do they like to uh, chew on everything, <laughs> particularly my socks? Well, he is a baby still, so he likes your socks because they smell like you, and that's one of the things that comfort them. Um, a lot of dogs will do that, so that's just a comfort thing. He likes the Aww. socks because they smell like you, yours in particular, so you must be his person, his chosen person. Oh, uh, but you no, combine he's a mama's boy. some really great <laughs> breeds there. Um, you have a golden and you have a poodle. Both really good family dogs, but guess what? They've got a good amount of energy. A lot of people don't realize oh, yeah. how sporty poodles are. They can actually do, like, hunt tests they can jump in the water and do spaniel tests it's one of the reasons they have their poodle cut so poodles actually have a lot more energy than people will give them credit for i know we all see the poofy and the nice you know poodle cut but they really can get down and rugged with it so they have a good amount of energy and so does a golden retriever which is why a lot of people love the goldens they're good with families they're excellent family dogs but they do need a lot of stimulation and exercise in order to be happy so you have two very uh, energetic and <laughs> mentally stimulating breeds that are uh, just calling out for more playtime and yeah. more hanging and more <laughs> he, doing he's all the things. Me out. And it's I like, hate woof. to break it to you, but, but your he's socks awesome. are now his.
Yep, that's it. Mm -hmm. All right, man. They just he just loves your socks. He just loves you. That's yeah. all that it is. I don't even have to wash them. <laughs> 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 it's like, all right, Brandy. Take the dirty ones. <laughs> we appreciate you so much. Thanks for helping breaking down the breeds for us with the American Kennel Club. Good to see you. Absolutely. And the Great American <laughs> Dog Show kicks off tomorrow. Tickets still available. You can see demonstrations, of course, the competitions, and much more at McCormick Place and streaming on CBS News Chicago. Now it's time to talk weather. We could talk yes. about dogs all day. Especially know, ours, right? I know. Exactly. <laughs> that was yeah. cute, though. It was super cute to yeah. see that and learn about your breeds. I hear about the problems all the time. <laughs> I hear about our yeah. problems, too. That's right. <laughs> Never a dull moment when you've got a dog, right? Uh,